Hey everybody, Mark Spec the Comics, and I'm back. This time with my favorite video to make of the month, my beer and comics. If you want to see what beers and comics I got recently, stay tuned for that intro. <laughs> Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that when I put out some content, you get it in a timely fashion. Like I said, it's my favorite video to make of the month. It's my beer and comics. Got a, got a nice package that came in the mail. Actually, it came in the mail when I was on a vacation. Uh, just wasn't home to pick it up because it has to be, when you have alcohol, you have to have someone to sign for it. So uh, I had to wait a few days. It was stuck at the uh, the post office, and then they ended up sending it over to like a Walgreens so I could pick it up, so it wouldn't get sent back. So this would have been July's beer and comics because I didn't do one in July. So this was the J July actual package. So instead, it's going to be August's 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 uh, beer and comics. And um, I'll end up getting another beer uh, delivery at the end of the month. So I might just push that towards September. I don't know. We'll see. I guess it'll depend on when in August it comes in. So um, if you haven't watched one of these before, it's basically a subs subscription service that you can do for uh, micro craft uh, breweries. And it's typically beers from the United States. And on a rare occasion, if they're like short on beers, you'll usually get like one brewery from the United States and then one from typically Europe. Um, that's happened to me once out of, I think, the four or five times I've had, uh, um, excuse me, the uh, beer packages. So, like I said, it's usually two microbreweries in the United States and you get four different types of beers. And it's usually like uh, IPAs, lagers, sometimes you get some stouts. Uh, which I've been really into lately, the IPAs and stouts. So um, let's check it out what we have. I'll open up two, we'll show some comics, and then we'll finish off with the uh, the last two. So uh, let's see. So usually you get a little pamphlet, tells you the two brew, uh, two breweries, and uh, one's Adelbert's Brewery, which is in Austin, Texas. And uh, I was just in Austin just a couple weeks ago, so that's pretty cool. And then the other brewery is Clown Shoes Beer, which is actually, I've had this uh, beer before, this brewery. Uh, they actually make some pretty good beer. So I'm excited to see which one, uh, which two I get. So uh, pretty cool. Um, the uh, one from Austin I've actually never heard of either. So it's always good to get a, a variety of, and like I said, most of these uh, beers, the breweries you've never heard of, which is really cool. And uh, these are always well packaged. All right. So I'll put these to the side. And I'm actually drinking, I think it's my last one of the uh, 21st Amendment Brewery. Uh, it's a collaboration with Pete's Coffee. It's the uh, Coffee IPA. Pretty good. So uh, let's start with the uh, Austin Brewery. I believe this is Austin, right? Yeah. Adelbert, so it's um, an amber ale, cool, actually pretty cool graphics, the scratching hippo, <laughs> nice, it says classic, malty, and balanced, and it's, uh, let's see what the uh, percentage is on here, they should have it on here, if not, I'm going to have to look on the brochure, and yeah, it actually doesn't have it on the label, all right, that's cool, no worries. And then uh, for the local Boston beer, the Clown Shoes beer, what do we got here? Oh, actually, I have not tried this one before from Clown Shoes. They got some pretty cool graphics as well. This is uh, Space Cupcake IPA. And I have seen this um, beer before at the uh, liquor stores. I just have not tried it. And it's, uh, it's on the lighter side for an IPA at 6%. Um, so... IPA is going to have like a wide range of uh, alcohol percent content. Um, 
No, I feel like it's usually 5% and higher. Um, I've had some around 11 and 12%. But those are like really, that's pretty strong. And they usually double IPAs. So uh, that's pretty cool so far. All right, let's get some books. Books I've picked up recently. Um, I did go to, today I went, ended up going to three comic shops. Uh, mainly to get some like new comic book based stuff. Uh, particularly... I want to say Nice House on the Lake, number one, third printing I was looking for. I went to three shops. None of them had it. I was, so they didn't even have the regular um, third print cover. I was looking for the one in 25. Could not find that. So <laughs> it's just one of those things, you know, luck of the straw. Shops didn't order any. But um, I did end up getting some books at the first shop I went to. I picked up uh, just three books. And... Um, if you watched my uh, July's uh, top five spec books to look out for, I talked a little bit about just picking up Kang covers because um, Kang covers are really cool to spec on. Obviously, he's going to have a big influence on the next probably, I don't know, four or five years, I would imagine, because he's signed for a five-pitcher deal. So I started digging... Um, and then I found the Uncanny Avengers run. So I picked up three books from that. This is um, issue number one. This is not a Kang cover, but I wanted to, you know, check out the run. It's a Rick Remender, John Cassidy artwork. So that's issue number one. I picked this up because this is a pretty cool Kang cover. This is Uncanny Avengers number eight, and it's also a Age of Ultron tie-on. Or tie-in, sorry. Jeez. And... Um, I like it because it has these cool bind, like the computer code numbers on there on the trade dress. You see the zeros and the ones. Pretty cool. I like it. And it continues down into the uh, Age of Ultron logo. But um, there's nothing nothing key about these. It just, it's just cool. Cool covers. And then this book. This book I've been looking for a while. Uh, in the wild. I, won't, I, I didn't want to buy one online. But I finally found one. They had two books, two copies there. And this is uh, okay, Uncanny Avengers number 12. It's just a really cool Kang cover. He's just sitting there. It looks like he's floating, floating on air. Um, I could definitely see Jonathan Majors doing something like this <laughs> in an upcoming uh, either show or movie. That would be pretty cool. Um, so I had to pick that up. That was that was a nice cover. Um, picked up a few other books. At, this is probably from last week or so. Probably a couple weeks. I can't remember exactly. But I uh, went to a shop. It's down at the uh, southern part of the state, picked up uh, Secret Avengers Dark Reign. This is just a one-shot, really cool cover. It has uh, the female Loki on there, Doctor Doom, um, and a few other characters. Picked that up. That was like four bucks, nothing crazy. Um, this was a nice cover. Been looking for this book for a while. This is the um, Punisher Annual Number 2. This is like it's the first meeting, first battle between Punisher and Moon Knight. And this book's been picking up a little bit of steam. Um, don't really know why. I can't see uh, Punisher and Moon Knight meeting up anytime soon. There hasn't been any talks about Punisher back in the MCU, but um, well, appearing in the MCU. So, uh, But it's just a great cover. It's a square bound book. This came out in 1989. I picked that up for four, four bucks. Um... Really nice. I love David Mack artwork. This is the uh, Marvel Voices Indigenous uh, Voices number one. This is featuring Echo. Um, they did Marvel did a bunch of these Marvel Voices, like just celebrating a lot of different people for like um, specific months of the year. They did one for Black History Month. They did one for Gay Pride Month. They did one for Native American Month. Um, this is just a beautiful cover, so I had to pick that up. And um, the last two books I got there from that shop were this one. I was really excited to finally pick up this book. Um, first time I've ever seen this book in the wild. This is Mighty Morphin Power Rangers issue number one. This is from the Ham Hamilton Comics. I uh, picked that up for four bucks, and this is a beautiful copy. It's probably a 9294 copy. Probably end up sending that off to, for grading eventually when I do do a big submission. 
I've been saying that a lot on my channel. I just haven't done it. <laughs> and now that there's a big stalling at uh, CGC with the amount of books and whatnot, it might be even further. So we'll see. Hopefully by uh, the next couple of months, I'll submit something. And then the last book at that shop was uh, Marvel 2-in-1. This is an annual issue number six. Uh, this is the, I want to say it's the first appearance of, oh, there you go, American Eagle. He's um, a native to the Navajo tribe. So uh, I think it's just a great cover. Uh, nice, nice cover. Um, done by Hannigan. I'm not familiar with that artist, but um, it's not in the best condition. Probably fine VF, I don't know. But for five bucks, I had to pick this up because it, you know, it's just a great cover. Um, let's get to the last two beers. Take a break and drink some beer. And uh, so I said, last two beers for this month's beer and comics mail call. What we got? Oh, I'm going to like this beer. This is from Clown Shoes Beer. I've never seen this one either. But I do love Kolsch. Kolsch beers are really good. They're really up my alley. Um, been digging them about the last few years. This is different because it's a mango American Kolsch. So this will be interesting. Um, <laughs> and pretty cool graphics as well. I may say so. And um, this is 5.5%. So pretty cool. And then the last beer, the last beer for this month's mail call. And like I said, on the, on the uh, pamphlet, the, what's that say? Oh, Philosophizer. That's interesting. Philosophizer. Sorry. The Philosophizer Saison Ale. It's a dry ale. Um, cool. Cool. And this is, does not say the alcohol content on here. What's going on with this brewery? They don't like to put it on their labels. <laughs> but um, it says sip and ponder. There you go. It's got that like classic look to it. And uh, it's a fairly new brewery. This one came out in 2011. Proudly brewed in Austin, Texas, as it says. So that's the four beers for this month's uh, Beer and Comics mail call. I will finish off with some comics, of course. And these will be, uh, let's see. So comics, I went to a comic shop. I want to say it was Sunday or Monday. I don't remember. Also down in the southern part of the state. Whenever I go there, I find some great books. Uh, I picked up Amazing Spider-Man issue number 209. That's the first appearance of Calypso. This book's been picking up some steam. Um, and this is a beautiful copy. Probably, I don't know, a 9.6 contender. We'll see. Um, but there's a little bit of talks of um, Craven movie coming from Sony. I don't know. Whenever they say that, it's usually years down the road. But um, Calypso is the love interest of uh, Craven. So that was a cool book to pick up. And uh, what else we got? Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man, issue number 22. Just love this cover. I think this is my third or fourth copy now. This is the first uh, meeting between um, Spider-Man and Moon Knight. The first battle as well. Great to pick that up. And um, I ended up picking up two copies of that. So, and this one was actually came in Mylar, which is surprising. It was only four bucks. Um, so, I think that's my fourth copy. And then I picked up another Moon Knight book that they had there. And this is Moon Knight issue number 60 from um, the Mark Spector run. This is volume two. It's the final issue. Stephen Platt run was from 55 to 60. So, if you're a big fan of Stephen Platt, you got to have this book. And this is probably the hardest book to get because it's the last issue, as they say. And not the most expensive. I think it's probably like a $10 to $20 book now. I think it, 
paid eight bucks for that, so that wasn't bad. And then the last three books to wrap this up. Finally picked up one of these. This is Moon Knight Annual Number One. Great, great Moon Knight Kang cover. Two of my favorites, of course. Favorite villain, favorite character, battling for the scepter. Look at that. Bunch of um, like random Moon Knight first appearances on here. I want to say it's like Moon Knight, like Viking Moon Knight, Pirate Moon Knight, Victorian era Moon Knight. <laughs> Just like the most random Moon Knight one uh, characters that you could think of. Um, but picked it up for five bucks. So I can't pass that up considering the uh, its cover price. Um, picked this up because this book is stupid, literally. Stupid number one. <laughs> Uh, it's one of those like, uh, uh, like, you know, comics that make fun of the characters, you know, throughout the time. So I, I did show off, um, I want to say probably a couple months back, I got a Yarn Man number one, which is like one of those spoof comics as well. This is making fun of obviously Spawn. You can see, oh, sure. Like it's a Wendy all the time. <laughs> And it's just just really funny, and I was thumbing through the um, the book earlier today. It's just really funny, funny artwork, funny uh, just funny words he's saying in there. The dialogue's just hilarious. So pick this up for four bucks. Is it worth that? No, but it's stupid. <laughs> and but the finish off with a banger. Uh, I had to pick this up. I, I don't think the owner knew what he had. You know, he's a really nice guy. I've been there many times. He buys collections all the time. And, you know, stumbling through some of the books, trying to find some uh, Moon Knight books to finish off my run. He didn't have any. Um, looked at the wall books. Didn't have anything I was looking for. So I went back to the indies. And I found this really cool book. Um, Rob from Cool Stuff Collectibles has mentioned this book many times and I've never seen it in the wild until today. So this is Strange Talent of Luther Strode, issue number one, second printing. Now mind you, the first printing had only, I want to say it's five or six thousand made. That was it. Imagine what the second printing has probably less than half. Super hard book to find. Pick this up for $10. It's probably, I don't know, the first printing is probably like a $50 to $100 book just to give you an idea. So this is probably a hundred plus dollar book. So I was like really surprised. This was my big hit that I found there. Probably my big hit of the week. So that's it. If you like that, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't and hit that bell notification. And if you like the beer and comics, let me know. Let me know what you liked. If you had any of those beers before, let me know what you think. If you have any of these books, let me know. Just comment down below, let me know. I interact with every, every comment that goes down there. And until next time, Mark Spectre Comics, out.